Okay, I got it all back together. Uh, spark plugs back in, caps on. Did remember to attach the vacuum hose for the vacuum pack out this time. That's beneficial. And uh, cranking it up here. Uh, oh, I did tighten uh, or try to tighten the head bolts on the exhaust on the right side, and they wouldn't budge. They were they were just dead tight. The ones on the left, they probably got a good sixteenth, maybe a little bit more of a turn to them to tighten them down. So maybe that's the issue. We'll see as we keep riding her and uh, find out. But let's crank it up here. Um, the ignition on there. And whether the, uh, I, I learned this from another bike I had, uh, always pull the clutch uh, to crank, to do anything, even if the neutral light is green, because uh, it may be lying to you. Yeah, ask me how I know that. Turn the ignition on. Uh, we got our red battery light showing us that the ignition's on, everything's good. And what I do is I give it just a tiny bit of throttle, not much. And let's fire it up. Sounds good. It's a little cold. Uh, cold start. Fire it right up. The enrichers are not on. Uh, it's just a I guess it's 55 degrees or so here in the shop, 50 about 60 degrees. Fired right up, no problem. Well, let's take a look at it running. Um, as it continues to run, it'll it'll smooth out and kind of steady down. Idles around 1050, 1100 RPMs or so, according to the meter that I put on it. And. Uh, She's already smoothing out a little bit there as she warms up. It's not going to let her idle too long. This air cooled. I, I don't want it to overheat, but uh, you know, she's definitely doing good here. You know, these old things, they always sound rattly to me, and every tick and knock and bang and... I've listened to several of these that other people own, and it, it sounds, they all sound like this. I mean, you know, there's, there's a knot buried down in there that uh, at first I found alarming, but I hear it in all of them. It's not really a knock, it's just how they sound. At least I think that's how they sound, because they all sound the same to me. <laughs> you know, some... Some professional Ural mechanic in Russia is watching this right now going, Run! Take cover! She's about to blow! Um, I wouldn't know the difference. As long as it keeps going, I'm going to keep riding her. Kind of a ride-break-fix thing anyway uh, for the Ural. You ride it, if it breaks, you fix it, and you ride it again. Yeah, and look at that shift lever. Isn't that... Uh... <laughs> And I tell you, that transmission, it's just like a box of rocks. That is an apt description of it. it feels like you're shuffling a, a fork through a pile of rocks on the inside of it. But these are sweet rides. They're just, I don't know, there's a charm in it. I mean, how can you not love this bike? How could you not love riding this? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got questions, post them down there. In the meantime, uh, stay safe, and if you ride a motorcycle, make sure you keep the rubber on the road and not up in the air.